Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about alveoli. So if you recall from the last video, where we're talking about the bronchial tree, we talked about you had the respiratory bronchioli. Okay, so you have the respiratory bronchioli. This is going to go down now, and it's going to become the alveolar duct. Okay, so what's going to happen here is the duct is going to go into an alveoli. Okay, now alveoli is plural, singular is called an alveolus. Okay, so what are alveoli or what are alveolus? Alveoli are single celled sacs. And in this case, they're in the lungs. You actually have alveoli in your teeth too. But in this case, they're in the lungs. So they're single-celled sacs where gases are exchanged. So what I mean by single-celled, I don't mean it's one cell that does this whole thing. What I mean is it's made up of a bunch of individual cells, but it's only one layer thick, okay? So it's not like it's just one cell. It's, it's multiple cells, but it's one layer thick. So what happens here? Well, let's take a look, and I'm gonna draw my alveoli now. Once again, here's my alveolar duct. Here's my alveolus. Okay, and now here's what happens is you have, you have blood vessels, capillaries, that are going to come along the alveoli. And remember, you have millions and millions and millions of alveoli. Um, and what's going to happen is carbon dioxide is going to come out of the alveo out of the bloodstream and enter into the alveoli, and then you're going to breathe it out. This is called an alveolar pore. And you have multiple pores inside the alveolus. Okay, and then you're gonna breathe that out. But at the same time, as you know, when it comes to breathing, you breathe in oxygen. So oxygen is going to enter into the bloodstream and then it's gonna be carried throughout the body. And that's basically the function of the alveoli. Here's the other thing too though, is you have some different types of cells too, which are going to be right down by here. Let me just draw it over here. And this is going to be called a septal cell. And what septal cells do, and you don't have just one. Remember, you have multiple septal cells in the body. So what septal cells do is they produce surfactant. And what surfactant does is it basically helps keep sir, Surfactant reduces surface tension. So it makes it easier to get gas exchange.
The other thing that's going to be inside of here are, I'm gonna use, let me see, I'll use pink. So let's scoot this over a little bit. You have um, alveolar, I don't like any of these colors, so let me go with my red. No, I've already used red. Let me go with brown. We have alveolar, macrophages. Okay, and what alveolar macrophages are, they're white blood cells. Okay, so these are white blood cells that are in the alveoli. You have macrophages all over your body. Okay, but in this case, they're going to be inside the, um, inside the uh, alveoli. And so when you breathe stuff in, such as germs, what will happen is these will attack it and eat it. Macro means big, macrophage means big eater. So this is going to attack it and, the, and it will eat any germs or anything that come in. So one last thing, we're talking about one alveolus here. But what happens is that you don't just have one alveolus. In actuality, you have a whole bunch of these. It's like a cluster of grapes. And so when you get a whole bunch of this, this is called the alveoli sac. And now remember, I don't just have one capillary going through this. Imagine all of these have a whole bunch of capillaries and then you have millions and millions and millions of sacs. And so that's basically it for alveoli. Going back real quick to septal cells, I, I mentioned that they reduce surface tension, but the whole point of that and the uh, surfactant is it basically helps reduce alveoli from collapsing. As the as you know, as there's going exchanging in it.